Hello there, today I'm going to do some investigation to answer two of the most commonly asked questions. Number one, can I get better Bluetooth like Bluetooth 5.1, 2 or 3 in my older device? Number two, can I get better Wi-Fi, maybe even up to Wi-Fi 6 in my older device? By older device, I mean Intel 5th uh, gen all the way up to 9th gen. Now in case you're not one of those people that are asking these questions, maybe you should Upgrading your wireless card is always a good idea because it offers a lot of benefit. For example, better speed, better range, better stability, power efficiency while idle, better security, and multi-device connection. A lot of people don't know this. Um, if you have one of these older router or maybe one of these older cards, when a lot of people are using the uh, internet at the same time, you may be putting the queues while the other person is streaming. So a lot of unexplained delays we suffer day to day is because of this. So the newer card, they have technologies built in like Moomimo, OFDMA, things like that. We don't, we don't realize these things like that makes our life so much easier, particularly in this age when more and more devices are being added and people are, people are on the internet all the time. So to make this investigation thorough, what I'm going to do is try this on a laptop as well as three different desktop PCs. And these are going to be from different manufacturers as well for the likes of Dell, HP and Lenovo. So this is just to ensure that uh, Wi-Fi 6 comp compatibility is not confined to a particular manufacturer or a particular type of computer. Now, my first investigation was a success with this laptop, as you can see. This laptop itself had an older single band Qualcomm based card and it was barely reaching about 25 which um, wasn't enough for 4K playback and um, as you can see in the task manager 9400H which means it's a 9 gen processor and Wi-Fi is a single band Wi-Fi. Bluetooth itself wasn't that great either, um, it wasn't very fast, Bluetooth 4.1. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and inserted the Wi-Fi 6E card in there and then I have conducted some speed test as you can see. It was reaching uh, all the way up to about 250 megabits per second. Now bear in mind uh, this is the maximum speed my modem can offer. This card is rated to give you even better if you have such modem. As a proof as you can see the card itself has been detected as Wi-Fi 6E AX210 and the processor is 9400H just like before it's the same PC now to take our investigation one step further what I've done is I've inserted the same card to a Dell 6th gen machine i3 as you can see in the task manager i36100T which means it's a 6th gen machine and um, as you can see in the Wi-Fi section, he is being detected as Wi-Fi 6E. Bear in mind, even though it is Wi-Fi 6E written there, only Wi-Fi 6 I could connect to. Now, to see if he is actually Wi-Fi 6E, you right-click on the icon, go to Properties, and then if you scroll down, you will see in the particulars of the Wi-Fi connection. Now, as you can see, um, it says Wi-Fi 6, so it definitely is being detected as Wi-Fi 6. And then there is, uh, at the bottom, you will see link speed, receive and transmit. This is the interesting one, because this is the Windows calculation of what it could be if, if, if you had a modem that would supply you unlimited speed. Now, this is not just a straightforward fake number. This actually takes into account the capabilities of your card as well as the quality of your antenna and does the complex calculation. Um, now, in terms of the Bluetooth, type in device manager in the control panel, click on the device manager and go to Bluetooth, expand it, and then um, go to the second one, right click on it and then properties. And then from here, select the advanced tab and we should find an LMP number. So remember it says LMP12. Now what we can do is we can go onto the internet and then search for Bluetooth LMP chart. Now once you find the Bluetooth LMP chart, just open it, it would give you an indication of what Bluetooth um, version you have. 
because this LMP chart they corresponds to a Bluetooth version. So in this chart, it says LMP11 is Bluetooth 5.2, but since we have LMP12, ours is Bluetooth 5.3. Now this time what we're going to do is we're going to move on to completely different manufacturer HP. So once I've inserted the card, unfortunately it wasn't detected automatically like the last one. Uh, when I clicked on it, it would say network and internet setting, nothing else. So I, I usually recommend a couple of restarts, but restarts in this case did not help. So I had to go to a different PC and then download the drivers. To do that, just type in the model and the driver and then go to Intel's website only, not anywhere else. So from this page, download the third one, which is for Wi-Fi. So remember, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth drivers are separate. From this page, only download the top one if you have 64-bit system, which most of the system these days are. So once you've downloaded it, go through usual installation process. No need to restart. Um, once you've done everything, if you go to the task manager, you will see, or maybe even, even if you click the Wi-Fi icon, you will see it will pop up. As you can see, the CPU itself is 6500, which is a 6th gen processor and Wi-Fi itself has been detected as Wi-Fi 6. If you go to the properties, you will see again, this has been detected as Wi-Fi 6 and link speed is 1200, consistent to the last Dell machine, which means we are getting the benefit of Wi-Fi 6. On the Bluetooth side, you will see there's a triangle there, which means driver needs to be updated again. So this needs to be done separately. Again, type in the model and the driver and go to the website this time around click on the top one which is for bluetooth only and download the 64 bits uh, driver only go through the installation once you have done that if you go into the properties you will see it is showing as lmp12 so lmp12 corresponds to bluetooth 5.0 all right again we are going to try a completely different manufacturer lenovo uh, once I've inserted the card, it wasn't detected automatically again, so I needed to install the drivers. So as you can see in the task manager, this is a i5-7400T, which is a 7th gen processor. And Wi-Fi is being detected as Wi-Fi 6C in the task manager. Even in the internet properties, you will see this is being detected as Wi-Fi 6, 802.11ax, and link speed is 1200 as well. And in the Bluetooth section, you will see it is showing LMP12, which is Bluetooth 5.3. All right, now that we've done a fair bit of investigation, and it appears that it's, it's very likely that we could have one of the latest Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connection into our old machines. But there are a few things I need to make you aware of. Um, first of all, this is not a 100% guarantee because I have not tried every single machine that exists on this planet. So there could be some hidden or unknown restrictions that um, could affect and then make it not work. So be open to the possibility. Number two is the advertised maximum speed. And these cards, they do have insanely high advertised maximum speed, but in real life, you will never be able to achieve those. Um, there are a few reasons, for example, the quality of the antenna, the positioning of the device and most importantly and very commonly the speed provided by your network provider for example in my um, test the area i'm in even though it's in london one of the top cities central london even and the max speed i can get is 250 megabits per second which means even though i have insanely high speed 2.4 gigabits per second card the maximum I, my card can harness is 250 megabits per second does that mean I wouldn't use one of the latest one is a waste of money? The answer is no. They do have some features that can help you in a very complex situation where there are a lot of traffic and the you know, range is not good or different people are, so many people are using the internet at the same time, things like that. So the later card has features built in that can help you uh, no matter how busy or how many people are using the internet it can maintain good speed and also in terms of the security and stability the newer cards are better usually and another important thing i should make you aware 
that if you're trying to get uh, Wi-Fi 6 or even Wi-Fi 5 1.7 gigabits per second do not use the e-key cards because you will have to meet CNBIO uh, CNBIO standards which the older machines will not meet so avoid e-key cards completely now if you are in the market for buying Wi-Fi card or any sort of Wi-Fi kits we do sell them so do check our eBay account out if um, components for the device is listed then you can buy it through there if it isn't do bear in mind we can actually provide custom or generic PC parts we can even make um, custom made um, antennas for you so do reach out to us if this video was any value to you please do consider subscribing if you have any PC needs do read through our feedbacks you will see we do have very good track record for um, providing excellent customer service so thank you so much for watching and have yourself a great day